you know, a few times I've made the comment, if you could go back in time and order the ultimate car, how would you order it? Well, this is one better than that. This is the car that never was that it is now. And what I'm saying is it's a 1969 Chevelle L78 motor. That's a 396, 375 horsepower. This one has air conditioning. It was never an available package back then. This is a completely restored car. I mean, nut and bolt, like a model car. Wait till you see underneath, it's amazing. But this is an L78 motor, air conditioning, power windows, power locks, power trunk, tilt deluxe wheel, uh, full gauges, power top, console, uh, F41 suspension, posi rear end. The list just goes on and on. This is the ultimate 69 Chevelle. The color, amazing. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and the list of options. That's where you can look at all the pictures, top to bottom. Make sure you look under this car. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have, along with a monthly finance payment as well. It's all at volocars.com, along with a buy it now button. If you ever get really excited about a car, hit that button. That'll just hold it for you until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified when the next one's posted. For right now, though, that top is down. Let's go for a spin. This is one of the nicest undercarriages uh, that will come through here. It is just sparkling. It's polished. Underneath is beautiful. So the body was taken off the frame. The entire chassis stripped down. It was actually powder coated, gloss black. Every single component looks new. Bushings, ball joints, shocks, springs, you name it. All the steering and suspensions redone. It's the F41 suspension. So it has sway bars front and back, boxed rear control arms. This has the optional chambered exhaust. It was a high performance exhaust they offered back then. They also called it off-road exhaust because I don't think it was legal for the streets. It's just a crimped pipe. Uh, going out the back and it has resonators in the back and the cowbell tips. So it's a factory correct uh, dual exhaust system. The brake system is completely restored. New brake cables, brake lines, brake hoses, disc brakes up front. Uh, floors are just painted beautifully. The fuel system is completely replaced. You look up at the motor it's spotless Chevy orange. There's not even a stain or a drip or grease or grime. It's beautiful Chevy orange. Uh, Muncie four-speed transmission looks brand new. The linkage all looks new. The drive shaft's rebuilt. Uh, 355 Posi in the rear end, that's all restored. They even went as far as putting the assembly line tags and markings on the underside. This is like concourse under there. Now let's check out the body. Uh, it has the SS hood, lines up spot on. I actually got this car from a good customer of ours for many years, and he's been a body man his entire life. He did not restore this car, but he's a body man. He knows what to look for, and uh, this was out of his collection. So the body's super nice is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the gaps are spot on, flush, absolutely mint, straight, clean, spotless, smooth. Not an issue, not a, not a nothing. All amazing. Clean, clean body. Has the hairline crack that they all get eventually on the convertible right here. Just a small one. Absolutely straight, not a ripple, no shrinkage, no dimples, no dents. This is all amazing. All along the bottom is all nice and smooth. A little smudge right there absolutely straight you know this body line is real nice lines up beautifully it's a factory Le Mans blue car it's code 71 and it's all even no mismatching the metal flakes laid out nice the clear coat is polished like glass I bet you could read a book in the reflection it's amazing uh, the white stripes on each side those are decals those are the SS stripes all of the trim I'm looking at the emblem sparkling. Uh, handles are new, mirrors, all the stainless. It's all shiny and new, all new. Marker lights, emblems, all the grill, the bumper, the lenses. 
It actually has T3 correct headlights. So this is all beautiful. The wheels look brand new. They're glossy. Uh, the caps, the trim rings, BF Goodrich tires. Uh, the tires were actually put on recently. Uh, I don't see a chip, a crack. I, I don't see a flaw. They're in this hairline little crack right here. Convertible top is power. It's white. You can see it on our uh, website. The boot actually snaps onto the seat. They just didn't do that, but that attaches there like that. No problem. Now coming around the back, the tail lights, bumper, emblems, has the blacked out SS trim. Beautiful. Outstanding. Let's open it up and see how it looks inside. All right, let's look in the trunk. Amazing, glossy, pretty paint job. Stickers are new. Has the light group, so the trunk light works. Look at the jam. It looks like they wet sand and buffed the jams. That's how nice they are. Weather strip looks like new. We have a matching, never used BF Goodrich tire with an SS rim. Complete jack assemblies, all nice and clean. Well liners new. The mat's real nice. Whole trunk compartment's clean with a nice spatter finish. Clean and complete. Yeah, this, this is it, man. This is a super car. Like I said, it's a car that was never built by GM with that motor and air, but here it is now. Jams are slick. Weather strips are replaced. Door panels are new. The very edge of the door panel on this side is a little nick. Power locks, power windows. The whole instrument panel is new. You have a speed minder. You set that and it starts buzzing when you hit a certain speed. Oh, the clock, it's working. It has a complete gauge cluster. All works. Power top is an option. Look at the vents are new. The heater control panel is new. It has a retro stereo. Uh, power trunk release is inside here. You have the owner's manual. Auxiliary plug for the stereo. Kick panels, nice. The vents, the light works. The carpets fit real nice. It has a correct Muncie shifter with the chrome ball. The entire console's new. Reproduction seat belts. Reproduction floor mats. Cushions. The seats are all rebuilt. Fit real nice. Beautiful. The headrests look new. It's like a, it's a pearl white, they call it. Got all new seat belts. All redone. This is also a deluxe tilt wheel. Two more options. Part of the light group is the light under the mirror. And there's a hidden radio antenna. There's no antenna on the body. Visors are new. Even up front by the hinges, it's all painted real nice. And it has the factory boot going through the door jam for the wires for the uh, door locks. When somebody adds door locks and power windows, they kind of just fish the wires through a hole, but that looks factory. Part of the light group, we got an under hood light, and this is a genuine, I think the code is JD. We check casting numbers and codes. It's a genuine 375 horsepower L78 block. It does have the rectangular port heads. It has a cam uh, cut equivalently to uh, an L78 but this one has hydraulic racing lifters instead of the solid lifters. Factory aluminum intake, and you can't really see it, but underneath there is the Holley 780 carb. It's actually numbered, correct numbered for an L78 um, engine, and it's all restored. Correct fuel line, the GM hose, the right valve covers, air cleaner. Uh, it does look like it has a billet distributor. Um, Valve covers, exhaust manifolds. Uh, I paused there for a second because it actually has date coded plug wires. That's what I was trying to make sure of. Air conditioning system uh, was just redone or serviced. That's on our uh, ticket. I looked it up. So the air works. You got the heater control valve in place, spring clamp battery cables, new alternator, the shroud, the pulleys. All oh, that's looking really nice. Reproduction clamps. We got power steering down there. The washer bottles hooked up. We got power brakes. 
Squirters are hooked up, hood insulation. Show quality car, in and out, top to bottom. This is that chambered exhaust, high performance factory exhaust. Sneaking in late at night with this one. So this here is the ultimate 69 Chevelle as far as I'm concerned. They built it with the colors, the options, the features that you couldn't even put together if you were back in 1969 in a Chevy dealer. Uh, nut and bolt restored to look brand new. <coughs> kind of funny, I was just looking at the washer fluid bottle. You could call this washer fluid blue. They look the same. Here's a very uh, nice opportunity to get a truly incredible car. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions, how to get it to your door, how to get it financed. That's all at volocars.com. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I almost made it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.